Okay, it's time for some invert mini tech talk about um, the operation, how the poppet works. It's really, really cool. They have this um, cool, um, they call it the pressure control poppet um, technology. I thought that was kind of cool, abbreviated PCP, so that's kind of funny. Um, the poppet actually moves backwards, backwards towards the rear end of the gun every time the gun fires. As opposed to forwards like, you know, the Eclipse Ego or the Bob Long. You know, you have all these hammers that move forward. This moves actually backwards. More like an autococker, you just can't see it. Um, so I'm actually going to take this apart for you. And you can actually see what's really going on. It's really fun. Okay, so you got your baby. First thing you do, you know, let me turn it on so I can shoot it. Of course, take your tank off. Make sure there's no air. Okay, that's done. I really suggest you put a thread saver. A little bit expensive, but they'll save your tank. All right, you can take your barrel off, and it's really easy to disassemble the mini. You need an Allen key. I'm not sure if this is the right size. Gotcha. Alright, uh, so this bottom screw right here. This is, this is the only one you need to actually take off. These are easier to keep, um, keep track of, but they're just a little harder to work. They're harder man to maneuver. So once you get that screw out, sometimes this whole thing will um, pop out on you. That's why I usually just hold my finger there. If it doesn't pop out, all you have to do is stick your finger down into the breech and push back on the bolt. And everything's going to pop out and slide out. And if it doesn't slide out all in one piece, all you have to do, reach your finger in there. You're going to bring out your bolt and your spring. Alright, so you just have to clean everything off. This would be the part where you put your spring kit in. You know, you just swap springs out. Um, your spring is directional. So if you put your spring on backwards, you're going to encounter some problems. Um, all you have to do is, you know, press your spring on. Go like this. If it snaps, and you can, it's not coming off, then you got it on the right way. And all you have to do is put a light coat of oil on everything. Okay, so here's what here's um, the inner workings of the mini and actually how it works. Alright, so you got your mini here, you got your bolt guide, you got your bolt. Um, where's the poppet? Oh, it's still inside. Okay, so what you actually have is that, as you can see, the feed neck is right here. And so the spring at all times is compressed is used like this and actually what happens is that the bolt will actually come forward and come through the spring like that well that's how the bolt moves and that's why the spring is so important and that's why people recommend having a spring kit as you can see the spring is pretty hard um, pretty tough to push because it has to compress all the way like that which means that a bolt isn't going to help you as much as a spring kit because the weaker the spring is the easier it is to push the weight that um, the bolt that way, and the less air you actually use. So this is why the spring kit is also um, very helpful to use. This replace the spring is weaker. Um, this is also why the mini is going to be limited in performance in terms of its technology because it has a spring inside. Um, you use air for the forward stroke, but the spring pushes it back. It's a little bit more efficient in some ways. But it's um, also more basic, so you so you get some kind of trade-offs, you know. It's less complicated, um, but it's also um, a little less efficient than, let's say, like an Ego. Because they use a precise amount of air to push it forward, a precise amount of air to push it back. While they have to use, muscle it forward, and let the spring do the return trip. Okay, so I'm going to also use the barrel to um, 
to simulate the, the bottom gas transfer tube, which is lo located here. Okay, so the mini in invert, invert mini operation is a little bit tricky, but it gets simpler um, as you go along. Okay, this um, actually going to have this barrel right here simulate the gas transfer tube in your grip. So when I overlay everything over the mini, there's your mini, there's your back cap, your bolt, everything is right there. So I'll give you a little, paint a little picture of how the mini works. Alright, I'm just going to take the spring off for simple purposes, easier to see. Okay, this is, this is the main guy of the show, the poppet. Okay, so when you have your, um, your poppet resides in this little back cap right here, put him inside. He's got a spring that helps reset. The older generation one minis did not have the spring. As a result, what would happen? The poppet would not return forward because of the spring pressure and it would bleed everything out of this hole right here. Now the poppets have a spring. You pretty much have a slim to nil chance of anything bad actually happening and you venting all the air out. Also, this is how you adjust your velocity. Like I was saying earlier, your poppet comes this way and this back cap screws in on the poppet. The further it's screwed in, the further it's screwed in, the less likely the poppet is to come out. If the poppet can't come back as far, then you're going to have some problems. So what happens is that the poppet actually comes back pow, 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 every single time. And what actually happens is that if you can see this, um, these three holes right here, the holes actually line up with the bottom gas transfer tube. So the air comes up through here through the grip and comes through the bolt guide to fire the paintball. And that is also how the um, the bolt moves. So what happens is that when you pull the trigger the, the poppet comes back when this, this little cup seal right here opens up the gas will actually come through the gas grip and go out to fire the paintball. But how does the poppet move in itself? Um, here we have a small pocket of air back here which is also where the back cap is, so there's air pressure behind the spring. What happens is that we, um, they vent the pressure back through the air. So this, um, this Allen key right here is actually going to represent the manifold body, a bunch of air and tubes inside your invert mini. You hardly, you'll probably never ever get to see it. But what will happen is that if you see on your bolt guide in between these two O-rings, you see um, tiny holes all around. That's where the gas vents out. So it vents out, travels down this path, and comes back into the bolt through these holes up here. And that's also why they have O-rings on it. What actually happens is that it pushes the bolt forward, and the pocket of air that was inside here is now sandwiched between um, this bolt guy and the wall body of the Emirate Mini itself. So by the time the air vents back, the pocket has now some room to go, the, um, so the air comes from here, goes back, and then pushes the bolt forward. By the time the bolt gets forward, the poppet has opened up, allowing the gas to come through. It's quite a simple design, pretty genius. You don't have any um, rams or anything. And um, it's still very few moving parts, like a spool valve. You know, um, you take it apart. It does look like kind of like a spool valve because you've got the bolt, but you don't have anything inside. It's a very, very cool design and quite efficient.